Okay, so now the whole point of this is that we're going to get some widgets to put on our website. So I've got my website here. I've got my Goodreads account here. I've got my Shelfari account here. So I'm going to drag Shelfari back to be part of the other tab. And I'm going to maximize my screen, which was bigger than you wanted it. So let's get it back there. Okay, so here's our next step. Um, we're going to go make sure you have your site and you're in edit mode. You are going to change the layout of your site. You are going to choose either a left sidebar or a right sidebar, your choice. And in the big section here, I'm going to click and I'm going to go into the HTML mode. I'm going to get the Shelfari widget to put in here. So let's go to Shelfari. Let's go to widgets. So if you can't see that on the side, click, um, just try to click on Shelfari in the corner and it should bring that up. Click on widgets and we're going to create a new widget. It will be a flash and you're going to choose um, the books that you've read. You want a grid and you want it large and I recommend transparent but if you'd like to have a specific color as a background that's fine too. It doesn't really end up being transparent. It's always going to, I've noticed that it's white. Once you do that, you're going to notice actually instead of large for the size of your widget, you're going to customize it and you're going to choose for the pixel width to be, um, let's try 600. And let's, that's actually the height that I just made 600. So let's also make the first one 600. Let's make it 600 by 600. Let's see how that looks. Copy this code that they gave you. Go back to your site. And in the HTML, you're going to paste that. Update. And you see nothing, but when you save, it looks blank. Remember how sometimes videos have that? See this little shield up here? Click on your shield and say load unsafe script. Google Sites is not trusting Shelfari's widgets. Hey, that looks good. Things all fit and I have three rows by 12. It'd be, it'd be nice if I had um, five rows by 12 because then all of my books would show. So I could go and adjust my height and tweak that. This is fine too. So now get back into edit mode and we're going to click in the narrow column and we're going to go to Goodreads. And in Goodreads we're going to click on My Books. Try that again. I guess it's, it's in a different thing. <laughs> there we go. And we want to make a widget again and here's widgets. Goodreads is being slow today. We're going to go down, down, down. We're going to get the grid widget. We're going to choose for it to show us our to read, books we want to read. We are going to select sort by date added, that's fine. And number of books up to 20 is fine. Cover size, medium. And then we're going to go ahead and we can give it a title. Books I want to read. And I might not even use that. We'll see. And then I'm going to copy this HTML. Control C. Go back to my books page. Go to my HTML and paste it there. And it says, warning, some of these tags aren't permitted. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, it worked. So that's good. And now I can save. I don't know if I want this. We'll see. I like actually that it does say books I want to read here. And remember that, hmm, there's m both of them. So it's showing the books I want to read. It's showing the books I read. It'd be nice if it said books I've read. So let's go to edit. And I'm going to write that up here, but I'm going to align it on the right side.
and try that again. And maybe put some spaces after it and give it some size and save. So now that's what people should be able to see. So get those widgets in and you will look like a pro.